Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me, Lady Almighty, and I'm back with another Power Book 2 Go Season 4 Theory and Prediction video. And today, does the reason why Kate Egan was not at Ghost's funeral have anything to do with the fact that James Ghost St. Patrick is really alive? And together, they came up with a foolproof plan to watch over Tommy Egan as he faces new challenges in Chicago and eventually California. This here may be the biggest piece of evidence that proves the ghost man is alive and well. Making love to Ramona in a secret location right now as we speak. Now, the idea for this theory comes from Demarcus, a frequent viewer and supporter of my channel. And I figured out how this all makes sense. Because just ask yourselves. Since Kate Egan raised Ghost as her own son and said so herself, what reason would she have to just miss her own deceased son's funeral? It seems like Kate Egan may be the only one who knows the truth about Ghost. Now this video is gonna be another banger. Go ahead, like this video, and subscribe to this channel so y'all get this fire every day because this is where you will get the wildest, most creative, and entertaining power theories on the world wide web. We think out the box around here. Also, if you're a power fan or a power theory content creator, I'm looking to collaborate with some of you in future videos. I'd also love to get you guys on the weekly lives I will be doing after season four airs, where we can recap the episodes together and talk everything power. If you want to be a part of that, email me at n.almighty1991 at gmail.com or you can DM me on Instagram at nate underscore almighty underscore GDA. Now, without further ado, Let's get to it. All right now, people, as always, let's break it down like this. First off, we all know Kate Egan screamed on Tommy and blamed Tommy for the death of Ghost. A huge reason why Tommy resents her even to this day. We already know this, but we do not know what happened with Kate from the moment she accused Tommy of killing Ghost until the time she met Tommy in Chicago. But throughout the first two seasons of Force, she hasn't mentioned Ghost at all to Tommy. And if I'm mistaken, let me know when she did in the exact episode and time in the comment section. Is that not strange already to anyone else? And not only that, Ghost was like her son. So why was it so easy for her to be around Tommy so soon after she accused him of murdering her other son, who she literally raised besides Tommy Egan? We're talking about months in between her accusing Tommy of killing Ghost to where she's the same old Kate Egan talking to Tommy in Chicago. Not even a year went past before Kate reunited with Tommy, acting like the same old Kate Egan. Almost as if Ghost never really died. Getting at How I Live spoke on the possibility that Ghost may have put a tracking device on Tommy's blue Mustang. Why? So he can keep track of Tommy, of course. But what if Ghost also instructed Kate Egan to now follow Tommy to Chicago and keep an eye on him? This is even more plausible if Ghost actually did not place a tracking device on Tommy and needed a way to keep tabs on him. And the opportunity to get to know JP and DMAC would just be icing on the cake for her. Now, with that being said, I can only see one reasonable argument as to why Kate wasn't at the funeral. If an alive ghost has nothing to do with it. That reason being, she got the money from ghosts after ghosts died 
from the trust fund so she was out getting high and drunk and missed the funeral. Now, although very plausible, she was still a mother figure to ghost. What mother finds an excuse to not go to her own son's funeral? And had she just been getting drunk and high and forgot or missed the funeral, the writers would have easily inserted that in her dialogue and she would have been said that and we wouldn't even be having this conversation right now. There would be nothing to speculate. If anything, she would have just went to the funeral while intoxicated and just embarrassed herself while there. So, with season three coming, of force on the 10 year anniversary of OG Power. There is a possibility Tommy finds out his brother Ghost was already watching him and with the help of Kate Egan. And while she was absent from the funeral, she may have been spending that time connecting with Ghost, probably with him assuring her that he's okay and that Tommy did not shoot or kill him. And they would have been discussing whatever plans Ghost has in the future that includes her and Tommy Egan. Now, someone also said in the comment section, my bad bro for not remembering your name as I'm doing this video, about how earlier on, K. Egan got some information and says something along the lines of, I'm paraphrasing, right? She said something along the lines of, I can't wait to tell my son. Oh, wait. I mean, my other son about this. Could that be even more evidence that Ghost is in fact alive? And Kate Egan is watching over Tommy for him. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace. Can't teach that shit, nigga. Come on. That's how to get that. That's like my ink. That's on the phone, nigga.